なって。Look at Crazy Crane. How you doing, bud? <laughs> hey, it looks like you're having a real tense conversation over there. Come on, Johnny, talk to us. We're just trying to be nice. How about we join you and your friend for a bit? Well, where do you think you're going? No, you're being pretty rude for the people who are trying to talk to you. What, you don't want to play with us or something? Just leave me alone. You're gonna hurt our feelings. Where are you going? Stop! Come on, come on. Guys, let's go. Good luck, Johnny. Hey, yeah, I just left the office. Uh, I actually wanted to discuss something with you. Before you go any further, 
I just need to let you know that it's not going to work out. Wait, what's not going to work out? I, I don't know what to say. Right, but I've devoted my whole life to this profession. I'm good at my job, You're you know this. You're good at your this. job, Jonathan, but there's a line that you have crossed numerous times and we can no longer tolerate that kind of behavior. Behavior? What? Jesus, the crazy experiments you've been trying on all these people, Jonathan? Consider yourself lucky we're not bringing this to the police's attention with all the actions you've taken here at the asylum. Give me a second chance. Unfortunately, we're not interested in granting you such a privilege. We're trying to avoid a lawsuit on our hands as much as possible. You're done. I'm sorry.
Leave me alone. Go! Stop. Please! Please! Leave her alone. What did you say, freak? Leave. Her. Alone. Look at this guy. Is this supposed to scare me or something? Huh, pal? What the fuck are you gonna do, huh? It is my utmost desire and responsibility that the people of Gotham feel safe, whether it's in their homes or walking the streets at night. We will cleanse the streets of the filth that swarms them. No days off, no breaks. Not until people from all around the country would want to visit Gotham because deep underneath we all know this is a beautiful place, a beautiful place for all. Yes, and I will not sit back. We will not sit back until the crime is little to none. I'll just put it this way. When the day comes that I am face to face with these thugs, they're gonna wish that I never went to that academy, that I never worked my ass off, went up through the ranks, and here I am now, police lieutenant. I promise you, they will pay for what they have done to this great city. Man, it's been a while, huh? What, a couple of years? Give or take. How's your job going, man? You're like a, a pharmacist or some shit, right? Psychiatrist. I was let go. Oh, shit. Uh, I'm sorry, man. How are you doing? Are you okay? That's why I stopped by. I'm just confused. Need someone to talk to. Hey, man. You know you're always welcome here. Tell me what's on your mind. What's going on? Why do you do what you do? What do you mean? Like, why do I do? Yes. Well, I get a great deal of satisfaction out of it. I know my product. I know what it's worth. And I know what I'm worth. And to be quite frank, I make a shit ton of money doing it, so why stop? Even though it's illegal. Where's this coming from? You thinking about getting a taste of what I do? No. I felt that satisfaction when I worked with my clients. Just, I don't know. I thought I could somewhat help them. 
understand them. But now... If you don't mind me asking, why'd they let you go? Do you fear the police? <laughs> Hell no. The man I work for damn near owns Gotham PD. Hey, do you fear the police? You're fucking right. See? Oh, this is my buddy Connor. We work together. Connor, this is Jonathan. He's my old buddy from high school. You guys know each other? Hey, don't sweat it, alright? We're just a bunch of dumb kids. You want a burger? Alright. Hey, you alright? Him. Police. They don't know fear. Jonathan. I have to go.
Yeah, they threw me a whole party at the office and everything, so I guess you can say it was a busy day. Oh, of course you love the speech. I'm with every word. Everything would have been a lot better if you were here, though. Only a couple more nights? I know, I just miss you. I love you, too. Lieutenant Cameron. Is that title supposed to mean something to you? Is that supposed to scare us? No. 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 The corruption. The chaos. You people feed off it. We are the ones left beaten in the streets. You're no different from them. You can't expect to stop crime in the city with your flashy badges and your firearms. Or your pathetic speeches. I am what can keep them away. Look at this, Lieutenant. You're afraid. And what is it you're so afraid of? Lack the idea of what real fear is. You and the rest of the city will soon understand what it means to be.
Hey, Crazy Crane, what you doing? God, you're such a freak! Get up, Crane, I wanna play. I wanna see if Connor wants to play, then we'll come back and get you. I think it was him. I don't know. No sign of the murder weapon. That's the place for Prince.
Yes. We will not sit back. They're going to wish that I never went to that academy. And here I am now, police lieutenant. I'm glad to see you're doing better. Any luck with the job hunting? I haven't really been looking for a job. I've just been using this time to myself, you know? Just figure everything out. Hey man, I totally get it. Sometimes you just need some time to better yourself. Yeah, I am bettering myself. Hey, that's good. So, how long did it take you to figure out what you're meant to do. <coughs> Buddy, if you think selling dope is surely what I'm meant to do, then I should just kill myself. Let's just say me doing this is what I have to do in order to truly figure out that part of my life. Very interesting. You'll get there, I promise. So you hear there's another nut loose in the city? What? Yeah, you haven't heard? It's in all the papers. Yeah, 
Shit's crazy. I wonder if this has anything to do with the lieutenant's death. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's one crazy fucking city, man. There have been numerous bodies found in the streets of Gotham within the past few days, with wounds and unidentified chemicals found in their bodies that are freakishly similar to those that were identified on Lieutenant Cameron when he was found dead in his own home nearly a week ago. The Gotham Police Department has ruled out that Lieutenant Cameron's death was a suicide, and it was indeed a murder. There are no prime suspects yet, but the Gotham Police Department is confident that it is the same man or woman responsible for all of these recent deaths. The search for this person continues, but just remember that he or she is still out there. We advise you that you do not walk alone at night and keep your windows and doors locked at all times. This is a very fearful time for Gotham. I believe I could provide some information in regards to the murders that have been happening. Well, I've seen a lot of crazy shit here at the asylum, but I may potentially stumble across something crazier. I can't really wrap my head around it, but recently I heard the news about the murders happening and, and it all started to make sense. You know, I've been having these dreams. In these dreams, I see a man, a man that enjoys torture. And I really don't think he likes hurting people. I think it's just to teach him a lesson. He must have had some sort of traumatizing experience to make him do such a thing. And I don't think he knows it yet, but he fell into the hands of the devil. Almost every night when I go to bed, I dream about this guy and I just think he's coming after me next. Sometimes I wonder, you know, if he actually exists. Then I start to think, this whole time, I thought these dreams were some kind of message to myself. But now I'm seeing them as a warning. I think this guy actually does exist. He used to work here at the asylum. And his name? Jonathan Crane. And why do you think that Jonathan Crane is one with the devil and involved with these murders? I mean, he's always been an odd individual. But amazing psychiatrist, he's just a little off. He used to do these experiments with his patients, made them like freak out and suffer to some extent. He was obsessed with like getting in their heads and I never really knew why. I'm pretty sure he was just drugging them with some homemade prescription. What are you trying to get at, doctor? The chemicals? If my theory is true, I think Jonathan Crane has just totally lost himself in his obsession with getting in people's heads, which gives him a sense of purpose. Again, he doesn't like hurting people, but to prove a point, the only way he knows how. So what do you think he's trying to prove? I don't know.
Make sure you got everything, all right? Otherwise, it's your ass. He's gonna be here any minute now. Listen to me. You cannot be here right now, all right? Jonathan, hey, look at me. Let go. Jonathan, look. I'm expecting someone to come here any moment, all right? And if he gets here and sees all of this, he's gonna kill us all. Jonathan, can you take off that fucking mask and listen to me? Let go! Once feared is here to collect a debt that is long overdue. I am that scarecrow. What did you do? Jonathan, listen to me. I can help you with whatever you got going on. But right now, I'm going to need you to leave.
I got eyes on the suspect heading east on 73rd. Suspect seems to be wearing a mask. Commissioner. Gotham PD will never learn. I will rid this city of its darkness by becoming it. You're sick. No. This is why you fail again and again. You don't understand because you've never been in positions like we have. We are just you. Crane. Oh. Sounds like self-pity to me. Not pity, but purpose. What this city needs is a presence of fear. Gotham will know fear. <laughs> <laughs>